Yvonne Gill and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low carb lemon garlic shrimp zoodles. Now zoodles, what are zoodles? Well, they are zucchini that I'm going to use and I'm going to make them into noodles and, and I guess everywhere online they're calling them zoodles. So I've got this um, slicer. It does different kind of slicing. I picked it up at Superstore. It's a President's Choice product and I was so fortunate that I got it for $14.95 and it is the best. I have a spiral that I was using and it only makes angel hair noodles whereas this one makes spaghetti noodles and it's awesome. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make this recipe. Now in this recipe we are going to use four zucchinis and what I've done here is I've peeled three of them. I personally like them to make me think it's more like a spaghetti noodle. I like the skin off but you definitely can leave the skin on and, and I'm sure there's a lot of fiber in the skin also. Uh, and if you're, you're, um, if you got some bad markings or whatever on your, your zucchini, it's nice to take the peeling off. But um, I'm going to go through the process and show you how this slicer works. It's pretty awesome. So on this slicer, they have blades, and there's three different kind of blades, and this particular one makes the spaghetti here. So we just slide it in here and it had a little circle so I just try and find the center of the uh, zucchini and I push it in and then there's prongs on the other end there's suction cups on here so there's prongs on the other end that hold it now I'm just going to start turning it and they make amazing spaghetti look at look how thick they are they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful and they're very long so I end up taking my scissors and I cut them but look at that that's amazing now the regular price for this slicer I think it was $25.95 and I just happened to luck out when they had a special on at the superstore and I picked it up um, but you, you should be able to find this. I know it's online, but I just hate having to spend that extra money. And I just wanted to get through this first one here so you could see that um, you end up... There, that's as far as I can go. And this is what you end up from the, uh, the leftovers. So I just cut that up. I, I don't want to waste it. I don't throw in the garbage. I just cut it up and use it in as my noodles also. But look at that. They're just awesome. So I'm going to do it to the other three. And you can see you have the green in it. There is nothing wrong with it. I just kind of like that thought of having all white noodles. So you choose what you want to do. Just make sure that your, your, your skin is really clean and on the zucchini and you're all ready to go. So I'm just finishing up the fourth one. Just a great slicer. There we go. So if you can see, I have all little shavings also here that um, comes off of the slicer. So I use all of it because it's all good, nutritional, it's good for you. So I just wanted to point that out, that I use that also. Um, but um, it looks like I got a heck of a lot of noodles there with those four. But I just find that when you're, when you're cooking them, they shrink down. So it doesn't look like you have as much when you're finished. But the thickness, like it was just, it's crazy of what thickness you get. It's just like a noodle and, and I am so impressed. My husband loves pasta and we never eat pasta anymore and, and having this particular slicer has really been a godsend for me. So now I'm heating up my frying pan and I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in. We'll heat this up and then we're going to throw all our noodles in there. And we just want them to, to soften up so it's going to be about two to three minutes that I will put them in. So we're using a medium-high heat and I am going to try and put 
all of these noodles in to the frying pan. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of stirring, I think. Look at that. That is awesome. So you can hear it sizzling here. It's going to take a few minutes here because I've got so much in the pot. But I'm going to put the lid on because the lid will help make some steam and um, we'll get these noodles a little bit soft but we want them still kind of crunchy but we want them softer also so we'll work on that and i've got my heat on medium high so my zucchini's been cooking for about four minutes i guess and you see how much it's gone down such a big difference. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a colander because I want some of the juices to drain. So I'm just going to take it and we're going to transfer it over into my colander. Now I want you to see, look at all the liquid in there. There's tons of liquid, so I'm just going to transfer the rest as much as I can, and I will get rid of the liquid, and I'm just going to let this zucchini drain. So my onions are transparent. Now we're going to put in a bag of shrimp, and this one is 340 grams. So we're just, I've taken all the little tails off of them, and we're just going to cook them up. They're already pre-cooked, but we're just going to heat them up and get them all ready for this great recipe. So now we're going to add a quarter cup, or sorry, a cup of quartered cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to add in um, two tablespoons of dry parsley. Now if you've got fresh parsley, put in about four tablespoons of fresh parsley. And we're just going to heat this up. We want some of the, the tomatoes to, to lose its, you know, juices out of them just to help make some extra flavor in this recipe. It's so delicious. So we're going to make the um, sauce for the recipe. So I've got two cloves of garlic. I'm going to crush them. Garlic smells so delicious. It just adds so much to the recipes. And then I've got a whole lemon that I've squeezed. So I've got a whole thing of lemon juice. And I don't know if you can see, but I actually used the rind for another recipe and I just kept it and reused the lemon juice with it. I have a tablespoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of sea salt. So I'm just going to mix this together and I'm going to set this aside. So I've let the noodles sit in the colander and I've got the bowl underneath and look at the amount of water that's come out of it. So it's been drained quite a bit, so that's awesome. So next thing we're going to do is put our, our meal together. So I've got my bowl, and I'm just going to take and put my noodles in here. Now I did take scissors and cut them somewhat because they were really, really long, the noodles. Now we're going to get our shrimp mixture. this on top and then we'll add our lemon and garlic and, and oil and we will toss so we're just going to toss it around and mix the juice the uh, lemon and garlic in with it So 
So here is my low carb lemon garlic shrimp zoodles and they're calling the noodles, the zucchini noodles, zoodles. I'm finding that on, on the internet everywhere. And I like a little bit of parmesan on mine so I'm just going to sprinkle that on top and we're going to give it a try. I took the scissors and I cut the, um, the noodles because they were so long. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. There's a quick meal. I think you really enjoy it. Now I want you to remember with the noodles, let them sit in the colander. Let them drain because there's a lot of liquid. That way you won't have a lot of liquid in your meal. But this is absolutely delicious. If you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.